sing the national anthem. I am. I'm so excited to be here. It's such an honor to sing the national anthem any chance I get, but especially tonight when we're here for veterans and we're here for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Both of my big loves coming together, so it's really exciting and again, a true honor. Our veterans, they fight for our freedom every day. These men and women, they're brave, they're strong, they love their country, they, they love the people they defend. And to then to have the Make-A-Wish Foundation here to, to learn how the whole thing got started. I know the story, but now to see it come to life is a really cool thing. So uh, I love giving back. It's something that my parents have instilled in me. And what better way to give back than tonight? Are you looking forward to seeing the film as well? Yes, I can't wait. As somebody who's volunteered for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, I've stuffed envelopes, I've made phone calls, I've actually gone out and granted the wishes. So I'm really excited to see it come together and see it come to life. What's it like being a part of it and being able to go out and help grant the wishes? You know what, um, something that my parents always instilled in me was giving back and helping people, those less fortunate or the, somebody who needs a helping hand. And these kids have a will to live and they just keep dreaming. And why shouldn't a child have a dream? We all are so lucky to be alive and, and live our dreams because of these brave men and women in the military. This is a chance for our children to get a chance. They're our future to have a dream. So it's really neat to, to be able to sit there and, and learn what their a child's wish is. And they're so creative. I mean, I remember one child said, you know, I want to have, I'd really like to have a chemo cafe because when you're going through chemotherapy, your taste buds change. So they wanted something where it's mashed potatoes and mac and cheese and so maybe things you wouldn't normally put together. But when, you ha when you're going through chemo, you don't know what that's like. And you don't know that your taste buds are changing. So you're not gonna have steak and potatoes and green beans. It's gonna be mashed potatoes and, and mac and cheese and whatever, different things that you wouldn't put together because your taste buds change. So it's really, it, they're so brilliant and obviously so many want to go to Walt Disney World. What better place than the place itself that what makes dreams come true? Speaking of wishes and dreams, if you could make any wish come true, uh, what would it be and why? Wow, that's a really good question. You know, I, um, I would wish for my dad's disease to go away. That's what I would wish for. And, and all those children, those innocent children, who have a dream and who have a horrible illness, for there to be no more illnesses and no more cancer. That's what I want. That's the wish that I want. Well, that's a beautiful dream. I love it. Um, and uh, it's so beautiful to have so many people here tonight supporting uh, Make-A-Wish and the film Wish Man. Um, and uh, what do you think people will take away from seeing the film? I think that people will see that Life's too short, and live life to the fullest, and give it everything you got. You can sleep later. Sleep is overrated. Thank you so much for chatting tonight, and I can't wait to see you sing um, tonight. And uh, yeah, it's been great chatting. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Thank that you. was so beautiful. Thank like, you. The words that you